Hi, sisters, brothers, and siblings. This is Pam Canlina, the USW Education Membership Development Department. I'm going to give you a short tutorial today on Outlook on how to set up contacts and group contacts in your address book. So Outlook gives us the ability to communicate with multiple people at one time. For instance, we can send an email to all of the members of a local union bargaining committee, or we can send an email to all the presidents of local unions that we service right now. So for today, our objectives are how to make a contact in our address book, how to make a group contact in our address book, how to edit, delete, or change those contacts. And hey, look, don't worry if you don't get the gist of how to do all of this at the first time. There will also be written instructions on this out in the staff toolbox to help you complete these actions. Okay, let's get started. First thing we want to do is make a contact for our address book. So I will go to the upper left hand corner of my screen to new items. Choose contact. Type in the information. Once I've typed in all the information I have, I'll choose save and close. Now this is the easy part. When I email this person, just hit new email, go to address book. This is the part you change. Where it says global address list, change it to contacts. Once you've changed it to contacts, you'll find the person you set up and you can send them an email. Okay, now that we've got the single contact, let's go ahead and move to the group contacts. We're going to start the same place, new items. Once you've chosen new items, you're going to pick more items this time. Then after more items, you'll pick a contact group. You have to name your contact group. Once you've named it, you can start to add members. To add members, click on Add Members. When you get to here, you have three choices. The easiest of those three choices from your Outlook Contacts. Outlook Contacts, you'll go to Contacts, choose the members who are in it, say OK, and they've been added. You can also put in a new contact Okay, two more choices to this. I can add a member by going to the address book, and it might be somebody that's already in our global address. I can choose that person and add them to the group. And the final way is probably my favorite way. If I already have a list, an Excel spreadsheet list, I can open that Excel spreadsheet, choose all the names and emails that I want to add to the list, copy them, Go back to my global list, add members from Outlook Contacts. Down here where the members is, I can right click, paste, say OK, and it adds everybody that was in my spreadsheet into this list. At which point I would say save and close. And I have that done. Okay, now that you have your contacts set up, you may find that you need to change them or delete someone in the group. You can do this by going to Address Book, switch to your contacts, choose the contact. Now, once you're here, if you want to delete someone, choose that contact and click Remove Member. Again, remember, if it's a USW.org address, you cannot edit it. But if it's one of your contacts, you can edit it. 
So we can go to President C and say his email address has changed. We can change the address right here. Once we've done that, save it and close it. Once you get here, update now, it changes his email addresses. And then you can save and close the group. Again, no worries if you didn't catch all this on the first round. Watch the video again or go to the staff toolbox, find the written instructions, print those out, and they'll help you to do all of these actions. Good luck, stay safe, hope you're all doing well, and hope we see you soon. Take care.